Oh, my queen, said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Cindy Lee, she became a dual person, Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. We know how to make lightning and thunder. That is not good enough. I want to control all the weather. Now, I want the plans for the other half of this machine. Hey, I don't understand, Professor. With your knowledge... Uh, since uh, you have already designed one of these machines, Professor, we only thought that you... They so bought th Rick Mason's design, not mine. And they're going to pay for it. And so will he. Now, I want these plans. I don't care how you get them. Oh, All right. <laughs> we have a gift for you, Mr. Mason. We always knew you were innocent, but in case you end up in jail again. <laughs> Ow. 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 Rick, I want you to know that Feather baked this from his own very special recipe. Oh. Voila! <laughs> a hammer, some pliers, and a saw. So, where were you when I needed you? <laughs> <laughs> it's another one of those weird storms. Oh, this weather has me worried. You mean the device? It must be experimenting with it. They can't control the weather without the whole machine. But they sure can cause a lot of trouble and damage. Well, it's up to the police now. See you all later. Stay out of jail. I will. Hey, thank you. <laughs> we still have a stake in this. Yeah, for sure. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I have an idea how we might find those guys. Hmm? How? We'll make them. Come to us. I think it's dead. <laughs> Why would those dudes come to us? Because we've got the plans to Operation Weathermaker. But we don't have the plans. Yeah, but uh, they don't know that. plans are. Miss me? Word on the street is some kids from Mason's High School has them. They're gonna sell it to the highest bidder. Find out what they want, set up a meeting. Let me know when you arrange it, but be careful. Heather, where were you? All set. I got a meeting with those guys. In 30 minutes. Okay. In a deserted warehouse. All right, all right. Uh, Rennie. Okay. As soon as those guys show up, I'll give you a call in the CB. And then you get on the horn to the police, okay? Right. Let's go. Yeah. 
Burglar alarm. This is lookout. Troops are in position. Stand by. Roger, lookout. Ready on this end. Over. Oh, come here, I want to show you something. I didn't know you had a CB radio. Oh, I thought it might come in handy, considering everything that's been going on around here lately. Hello, Lookout? That was Rennie's voice. Turn back. Lookout? Hello, Lookout. This is Burglar Alarm. What's happening out there? Over. Burglar Alarm, this is Lookout. Yeah, we're in front of the warehouse, and the troops are moving into position. Rick, those kids are up to something. It sure sounds like it. I wonder where that warehouse is they talked about. With that strong a signal, they can't be too far. Right. I'm going in after him. CJ, what is your location? CJ, Miss Thomas, they're in a warehouse on the corner of Seaward and Marina. Rennie, stay right where you are. We're on our way. ISIS. Electric forces spinning round return safely to the ground. Oh, iron fence, please let me through. I think you'd all better have a talk with the police. We know your intentions were good, but you still went outside of the law. And that has to stop. We promise it won't happen again, Miss Thomas. You know, Miss Thomas, I think there is a way that these kids can be of some help to us. Now, the weather situation is worsening by the minute. Now, perhaps we could wind this whole thing up if Feather here could arrange another meeting with the suspects. I think I could do that. No, Inspector, I don't want you to endanger these students any further. Well, I wasn't thinking of them. I was thinking of him. You get the plans? Maybe something better. What could that be? Rick Mason. Word on the street is that he wants to deal with us. Mason? What could he be up to? Now, 
ladies and gentlemen. Will one of you kindly step up? A volunteer? How about you, young lady? I'd be delighted. <laughs> and now, if you kindly step up and uh, lay down on the board. Is it safe? Perfectly, Rennie. Trust me. Uh, now, Mr. Mason, would you please remove the, the brace? Remove? Remove? Remove. Oh. Hey, drop everything! I don't like your choice of words. Mr. Mason? You got a meeting with those guys in half an hour. Great. I think. Don't worry, Mr. Mason. As soon as we contact Inspector Bryce, you'll be in good company. Yeah, with a hundred policemen. I hope that's enough. Uh, let's go. Okay. All right, Sonny, move it and make it quick. What is this? I said move it! Roger just took off and left us here. What? Mr. Mason had a meeting with those men, and we were on our way to tell the police. We'd better notify Inspector Bryce. Let's go. Where are you taking us? See an old friend of yours, Mason. That's what we needed to know. I'll make that call. There's a dirt road coming up. Hang a left. Their voices are fading. They must be getting out of range. We can't lose them now. Yes, Inspector Bryce, please. Inspector Andrea Thomas here. Where are we going? Simon Park. We'll be right out there. Thank you, Inspector. Oh, mighty Isis. This is going to take some teamwork. Oh, mighty winds which blow on high. Lift my voice into the sky. Captain Marvel? Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Follow, Follow my, my voice. voice. Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Follow my voice, Captain Marvel. That's Isis' voice. She must need help. Again, Mason. Professor, so you're the one. Now then, I need the other half of this machine. With your knowledge, we can build it together, gentlemen. We 
got to do something. Yeah. Oh, geez, if there was some way we could make them think they were surrounded. Split and divide. Split and divide? Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're surrounded. Come on, come on. Randy, I'll get the professor. bad, Ranji, but I think it's time to end this little game. And that, Ranji, is the way I do it. You should be proud of yourselves. You were very brave today, and also law-abiding. Yes, sir, you make quite a team. <laughs> Speaking of teams, you weren't too bad yourselves. gotta believe you know there's magic in the air you gotta believe there's magic everywhere you gotta believe in the power that it brings you gotta believe that you can do most anything i could never understand how the eye could miss your hand so you better watch as closely as you can now you see it now you don't some people believe and some just won't Cause there's magic Ooh, Wherever you are Henry, you should have been there Shh, you gotta believe I mean, 12 you know, ISIS has suddenly appeared Shh 12 ISIS's? Come on, Rick, you don't expect me to believe that You gotta believe And you can do most anything You gotta believe the magic, magic in, in the, the air, air. You, you gotta, gotta believe. believe there's magic everywhere you gotta believe in the power that it brings you gotta believe that you can do most anything you gotta believe